Scientists have discovered a new, ancient insect species, a type of large aquatic insect in the giant stonefly family called a salmonfly. Recently unearthed fossils from China suggest these creatures were crawling around at least 165 million years ago, moving back the time salmonflies were thought to have diverged from their other stonefly cousins, and suggesting other dates may be incorrect in our understanding of insect evolution. Two kinds of salmonflies exist today, one that lives in North America, and another that has a wider range and also lives in Asia. Compared to most other stoneflies, salmonflies are larger, and the Chinese fossils look remarkably similar to these living species. To confirm the identity of the fossilized species, and understand its relationship to its living relatives, a team of international researchers made detailed comparisons of the wings and other body parts. In one section of the wing, they found a lot of distinctive vein branching, a feature shared with living salmonflies, but also with more distant and ancient stonefly relatives. Another area of the wing had a prominent first cross vein, allowing researchers to assign the fossil to a large group of cystalignatin stoneflies. Additional branching in a part of the wing close to the insect's body suggested the fossil is more closely related to the more wide-ranging living species. But unlike that salmonfly, the fossil is missing some key cross veins. This feature indicates the fossil is not only a new species, but also a new genus. Additional analysis of the male salmon fly's genitalia suggested the fossil is an intermediate between the North American insect's two-lobed plate system and the wider-ranging species' three-lobed plating, confirming the placement of the new genus on the stonefly's evolutionary tree. Before this discovery, no salmon fly fossils had ever been found, so scientists thought they might have diverged rather recently. But the new Chinese fossil refutes that. By the Middle Jurassic period, the flies had already diverged into different groups. More work similar to this detailed analysis should reveal other surprises in the geologic history of stoneflies and other insects.